I'm Susan Labar, editor of Walton Music, and I'm here today with Jason Max Ferdinand, conductor, composer, um, leader of the Aeolians of Oakwood University. Um, Jason, would you tell us a little bit about um, your background and your journey and how you got to where you are okay. today? I am a native of Trinidad and Tobago, born and raised, um, and started doing music from a very early age along with sciences, which is a whole nother story, but um, I, I eventually chose music to be my life's work. Um, went on to Oakwood University in the fall of 1997 to finish my piano degree. I kind of went on to Morgan State University after to do my master's and uh, University of Maryland after to do my doctorate in choral conducting. Along the way, I've taught at um, Pine Forge Academy in Pine Forge, Pennsylvania. I spent seven years there and then moved on to Oakwood University where, where I work now. So you said you um, studied some science. So was that um, something you were really interested in? Was it uh, <laughs> someone else leading you along well, that path? Well, in the, in the British system, which Trinidad and Tobago was patterned after, um, it, you tend to have to choose your life's journey a little early in life so you know 10 11 12 you either were doing sciences or the social sciences or business so i chose biology chemistry physics which would eventually take me to medical school in the, in the british system so so that's that's the background behind that do you see um biology or physics uh mm -hmm. relating to singing <laughs> and the voice and choir and you know <laughs> I, I don't think about <laughs> it like that at all. It was like two completely different things to me at that stage of my life. I, music was kind of the thing I just enjoyed doing as a hobby, mm -hmm. but eventually turned into something very serious. Mm -hmm. So I, I never really was mingling the two. It was two completely different things. Maybe I should look at blending yeah. them now. That might be something, <laughs> huh? What brought you to Oakwood uh, when you were there yeah. as a student? So. Um, my dad at the time was an administrator at the Seventh Adventist University in Trinidad and Tobago. Um, he eventually went on to be president of, of that school. And the Seventh Adventist Church around the world has quite a number of tertiary educational institutions. Oakwood, though, was by far the leading one when it comes to music. So when I, when I told my parents I wanted to study music, my dad immediately said, well, we have to send you to the best <laughs> Uh, Adventist school that we know of, so that's that's how I got to Oakwood. And did you sing in the same choir that you're now conducting? I sure did. I was uh, I was primarily one of the student accompanists. I spent more time playing than singing. And uh, Dr. Mallory would kind of experiment with some of my songs. Uh, matter of fact, one of the songs in one of these series we recorded back in 1999. Um, so yeah, I was part of the Aeolians for two years. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. And so speaking of series, um, you have several pieces that you have composed and arranged, mm -hmm. and now we're starting a series at Walton Music um, under your name, where wow. you're going to promote mm -hmm. yeah. um, other composers along with yourself and, and new works and new arrangements. Um, so what are, you, what are you hoping for with that series? Well, you know, the main thing with that series, probably twofold. One, as you said, to give composers and arrangers that I've known about for a very long time, and even some younger ones that I'm just learning about, just to give them that platform to get stuff out there. And coupled with that, many of these pieces, the aliens, my core will do, or are doing, so it becomes something that's on the written page, and people get to hear it. So just, just a chance to really expose some new arrangers, some new composers. And then the second thing is just to give people the opportunity to, um, you know, experiment and feel what that alien sound is like you know they, they hear it and oh we want to do that so having a piece that that alien saying on a printed page if you know we want to experience that and that gives them the opportunity to kind of to, to be part of that tradition yeah. do you think there's a certain um, I can certainly have my opinions about this but uh, a certain style or a certain mm -hmm. sort of makeup of a song that you are typically drawn to um, or that we're publishing? Yeah. You know, at, at Oakwood, for years, we've been trying to define the, the alien sound mm -hmm. because we, we definitely think of something there. We don't think we have the definition yet, but it's, it's strange because in my rehearsals, I could stop and say, guys, right here we need the alien sound. And they, they do something. And it, 
it works. So I think I'm drawn to s things that have very, very lush harmonies. That's something we we love at Oakwood. Um, um, you know, the groups like Take Six and mm -hmm. Committed that have come out of Oakwood, that's the, the thing we, we, we love. So anything that, that has very interesting harm harmonies gets my ear. Um, a little a cappella music, you know, mm -hmm. some, of the, some of the things will, will be accompanied, but my air kind of goes there first. Mm -hmm. yeah. To me, there's a lot of um, contemporary sound, um, even drawing from some of the kind of sound we hear in pop music or mm -hmm. music on the radio, but then it's brought, and even jazz, a lot of yeah, jazz yeah. influence, um, and it's brought together um, with these maybe spirituals or hymns or new compositions. Yeah. Um, and really, it does create a really unique sound that is really hard to define. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I, yeah, I would call it the Aeolian yeah. sound. Let me just keep it as an Aeolian sound. Yeah. Uh, one of the really exciting components of the new choral series is that we're making recordings of yeah. everything mm -hmm. um, so that when a new piece is released, uh, customers can go and listen to mm -hmm. the recording online. Mm -hmm. um, have you recorded some of those with your choir? Yes, we have. We um, last few months we've done Safe in the Arms, which is a piece that my wife and I actually wrote um, for a baby girl that oh. uh, was just born seven months ago. And then we recorded Oh Perfect Love mm -hmm. by a student of mine, now faculty colleague of mine, Stephen Murphy, mm -hmm. and um, oh, I think we have a recording from a previous year of the Aeolians of "Wade in the Water" that's right, that Stephen that's right, also that's right, did, that's right. um, and then Missouri State University Chorale has mm -hmm. recorded a few. So they're all just really excellent recordings, and yeah. I think it's great to hear the two different choirs and how they yes. can both really achieve that really great, unique yeah. sound yes. um, by using this yeah. music. Um, so we're really excited about this new series. It uh, is being launched as we speak. Editions are coming off of press here at GIA and we're excited to get those out to all of you. So look for all of these new pieces on the Jason Max Ferdinand series coming your way soon. Mm -hmm.